This is Kristen Airy of the Indiana Pacers on Fox Sports Indiana, and you're listening to Small Town Sports Talk. Hello and welcome to Small Town Sports Talk. I'm Andrew Willett, and today I'm very lucky to be joined by St. Mary of the Woods College basketball player, Madison Payne. Maddie, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing great. Uh, pretty excited to have you on. She is a fellow Monrovia grad uh, like me, and she is entering her freshman year of college uh, just like I have. We've been there for three months. Maddie, how's, how's being on a college campus been like for the first time? It's a lot different than high school. A lot more freedom. Yeah, a lot more freedom. I've, I've kind of found that too. Um, but like with COVID and everything, everyone's telling me that it's just so much worse. Uh, how, how have you uh, been getting along in COVID college? I mean, it's all right. Some teachers are a little more like psycho about it than others. And definitely like our school is big on like where you can be at certain times and like how long you can be there and stuff like that, which sucks. But other than that, it's not that bad. Mm-hmm. And really, uh, you've uh, gotten to start your career as a basketball player. That's, that's pretty sweet. Uh, no one's taking that that's away. awesome basketball player yeah. um, and you've, you've played three games uh, so honestly how's the season been to this point in your opinion it's not too bad I mean we haven't won anything so you would think it was bad but team wise I think we're a lot better than like what they were last year which is good so that is good uh, obviously a, a tough start for you guys um, but hey you've gotten to start all three games uh, oh, did you expect that coming in what's that been like I did not expect it at all. Actually, the starting point guard got hurt at practice a day before our game. And my coach called me in the office and told me, and I was kind of in shock. But it's been pretty cool. No, that's awesome. Uh, Congratulations. That's that's a rough chance to get it in. But uh, it sounds like you're making the most of it. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask you, uh, really, just a, a, a starting question here. Uh, what were your expectations of college basketball? Because I know from everyone I've talked to, they said the number one thing that's different as you advance up in basketball from high school to college to pro is the speed of the game. So like, how has the speed uh, been for you? How have you adjusted to that? Well, I thought high school ball was really quick, but college ball, they want to play as fast as possible. Like, because in college, you only get like a 30 second shot clock. So everybody's trying to do everything as quick as possible. So first game, that was a little weird, but now it's fine. Yeah, uh, that adjustment to the shot clock, um, I I mean, that has to be different for you. Yeah, it sucks. (laughs) Not like that. Well, you're a fast player, Maddie, uh, and obviously you're a tremendous athlete. Um, So really, uh, what were your expectations for yourself heading into the season? Well, expectations for me is definitely learning, like, to play a lot faster for, like, for benefiting for me. So when I go in, like, I'm not like, oh, wow, this is whatever. And also for me, I wanted to be better than I was in high school. So, like, the extra time and all that's been great for me that we've been getting in the gym. And then expectation-wise was just to come out and play as hard as I possibly could. And I feel like I've been doing that, so. Yeah, you talked about that – uh, getting better from where you were in high school what have been the obviously you mentioned the shot clock but the main differences between high school basketball and Monrovia and high school basketball at St. Mary of the Woods so we obviously in high school only had one practice but here we have two practices a day we have one in the morning and the one at night and the one in the morning is more to benefit like you like your skills and then obviously at night we practice for anywhere between two and a half to three hours and then also we have to make time to come in and shoot on like the gun and stuff. So pretty much we're doing school. And then besides that, it's all about getting better 
like individually before we have practice. So it doesn't sound like a whole lot of uh, life going on outside of getting your schoolwork done and you're, you're a basketball player. That's, that's what. Yeah. Once, once basketball starts, it's school and basketball and that's about it. So I was going to ask you, uh, like, what's your favorite thing to do outside of basketball on campus so far? Like what, but have you had those experiences so far? Not yet. No. No. And especially with COVID, I know for me, it's been super strange on a college campus and getting to know people is tough, but it's gotta be nice having your uh, college teammates. Who are some of those teammates that you look up to? I definitely look up to the four seniors, which are Delaney Kendall, Reagan Hubbard, Sydney Ingram, and Maggie Reimer. They've been pretty cool about like the whole COVID situation and trying to make the best out of it, which is really nice. And plus they're just really welcoming. So that was pretty cool to come in and have like the four seniors be more welcoming than like you would expect. So. No, that is nice. And it is a rough situation for them as well. Uh, having their seniors. Yeah. Like this. But like we talked about, you've, you've gotten to play games. Uh, what is uh, your Thanksgiving schedule if you could? So we get Thanksgiving off and usually most schools are coming back, but we don't come back until January 4th. So all our games in December and the beginning of January are canceled completely. Yeah. I, once you told me about that, I thought that was absolutely crazy, but um, uh, what, yeah. what does that do for you and your training regimen as a team and individually over the break? Well, coach is definitely pushing us to get into a gym, into a weight room, so then we don't lose what we've already gained because that would really suck if we came back and everybody's out of shape or hasn't been shooting and stuff like that. So luckily I have a court at my house, but also Mr. Evers and Coach Rounds from high school have said I could come in and use the gym and the weight room if I wanted to, which is pretty nice. That is pretty nice. It's uh, a luxury to be from small town Monrovia. What, what do you <laughs> exactly. miss most about the town? Definitely my friends in the small community, like just playing sports with my friends, being around them all the time. It's a lot different now that I don't get to see them every day. So, Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's that's got to be one of the hardest parts of yeah. moving away. Is this your first time uh, moving away from uh, home for uh, – it's been a three-month period of time so far pretty much. Yeah, first time. Yeah, same here. So uh, – <laughs> uh it, it's tough being away from people but I, i've enjoyed it too so yeah and you talk about getting to play sports with your your friends you, you were a four sport athlete in high school uh not many people uh pull that off maddie uh you hear a lot about maybe a three sport athlete but not a fourth um out of those four sports you played football uh soccer basketball track why did you pick basketball I don't know. I think I just wanted something different because like most people didn't think I was going to go play basketball. But then I came here and I kind of got like the same feel that I did in high school, like a small town, like you really get to know everybody. So that really just clicked for me. And I liked that a lot. So that was my ultimate factor right there. Yeah. And you had over 100 goals in soccer. So you you had to have had options. What uh, were you getting a ton of lists from colleges for soccer? Yeah, I had Franklin, Earlham. And then Penn State. Dang, Penn State. That's a they're they're D one, right? Yeah. So, uh, what 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 affected your decision to pick St. Mary of the Woods? Well, with like Franklin and Earlham, you don't get money for sports; it has to be all like scholarship. And also at Penn State, they don't give full rides for soccer because soccer is not like the biggest sport there. And also the fact that. Penn State's so competitive that most likely I wouldn't have played till like junior or maybe senior year. Hmm. And plus here I would get the option to play and then I was getting money to play and also it wasn't that far from home. So, Jonah, do you know what is ridiculously fast? What's that, Andrew? Endeavor Communications Internet Speeds. That's right. In Indiana, basketball is everything. And if you're anything like Andrew and I, you were always streaming basketball, your favorite sports, or just your favorite shows. And hey, you're always going to need Wi-Fi ridiculously fast endeavor communications provides wi-fi perfect for watching the big game streaming your favorite shows working studying and gaming all at the same time not only is endeavor fast but when you go with endeavor you support the whole community endeavor communications is proud to serve and support our local community from homes education businesses endeavor will keep you ahead of the game you can find out more and see for yourself at weendeavor.com
That's weendeavor.com and tell them Small Town Sports Talk sent you. Hey, uh, that's, that's about as good as you can get. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Obviously, Thank you're you. killing it so far. Uh, I did mention you, you played football, one of the few female football players in the nation. And I don't, I don't just want to brush over that, but h- how did that make you feel? I mean, it was pretty cool. I liked how everybody was pretty welcoming. And, like, it wasn't my idea to do. It was actually some of the football boys, which was pretty cool. I mean, sure, I didn't get a kick a lot, like a lot, but just being around was fun. So, yeah, I was gonna ask, like, what was that like being not only joining the team as a senior, but also one of the or like the only female in that locker room? What was that like for you? It was pretty cool. I mean, obviously, I had to change somewhere else, but then like being in there and like hanging out with them and stuff was cool. Mm-hmm. No, that's awesome. Uh, clearly, uh, just a very talented athlete fellow athlete of the year uh, on the phone with me right now, uh, Maddie Payne. Uh, who were some of your role models uh, growing up, uh, obviously in Monrovia, and to help you get to where you are today? Uh, definitely my parents, because they pushed me a lot. Um, I would say Mr. Cassida, because ever since freshman year, he's been hard on me about absolutely everything, just to make sure I'm doing like the best I possibly can. And then also like some of my friends who are super like supportive, like Emma Williams and like Kyra and them who pushed me to be like the absolute best. I really look up to them too. That's uh, Tyra Davis. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, definitely some great teammates of mine on the cross country team back from high school and definitely got to share the love with uh, coach Cassida. He's, yeah. He's been awesome for me as well. And I know for you, he's just been a, a great role model. So that's, that's pretty great. Um, and now I just want to ask you some more fun questions. I know uh, talking beforehand, you said you are a, you like watching professional basketball. How, like, honestly, your fandom, uh, how long have you been watching sports and do you watch sports a lot? Cause I know some athletes just can't watch the sport. They, they just need to be playing it. Yeah. I think I started watching probably middle school wise and I like watching like the bigger games and stuff. So like, obviously like March Madness, like the finals, all that kind of stuff. Cause if I just watch like a regular game, like I wish I was just playing it. So I can't even watch it, but. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I definitely used to relate to that, but I, being a sports broadcasting major, I, I just love watching sports now. But yeah. uh, you told me beforehand that you actually have a, a favorite team in the NBA. Who, who would that be? Golden State Warriors. That is that is a risky opinion, Maddie. Uh, not not a lot of people. Uh, m- most people call that bandwagoning, actually. Yeah, it might be that, but. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Uh, who are who are some of your other favorite teams? Um, sometimes I watch the Rockets, which right. I get a lot of backlash from too. But I also like the Pacers. They're not bad. They're hit or miss. And then they've got a lot of. Uh, stuff going on and I you're also a Purdue uh, basketball fan yeah I actually go to a lot of the girls games with like season tickets and stuff so that's pretty sweet that is pretty sweet uh I I, I do want to ask you have you uh have you tried to model your game after any one player not really no no Uh, and then also uh kind of more of a fun one here uh you I've seen like players work out with uh, future, like NBA players working out with Hall of Famers. Uh, now, if you could work out with any player right now, who would it be? Definitely Sabrina Einstein. Yes. Sabrina yeah. is just a supremely talented player. With- yes, she is. So, uh, Maddie Payne, uh, thank you so much for joining me today on uh, Small Town Sports Talk. Thank uh, you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. And I want to close it out with a uh, our 60-second speed round brought to you by Endeavor Communications. It's just a fun, quick little thing. I'll start the timer on my phone, but I've got like 10 fun-ish questions. Um, and so start at one minute, 60 seconds, brought to you by Endeavor Communications. Maddie, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, you're favorite we just heard about golden state but your favorite professional sports team outside of them 
Uh, definitely the USA women's soccer team. Uh, favorite college to follow that's not your own team? Uh, Oregon girls. Uh, favorite restaurant in Terre Haute? Panda Express. I like it. If you were given $1 million, what would your first purchase be? Probably a new pair of shoes. If you could choose a superpower, what would it be? Uh, to be invisible. Interesting. Favorite thing to do in your free time? Sleep. Uh, that's Definitely sleep. My answer as a college athlete. Uh, favorite TV show or movie? Ooh. Movie would definitely have to be right now The Grinch. Favorite basketball player to watch? Sabrina Einskaminski. Favorite apparel brand? You mentioned shoes. Nike. And then this last one, uh, take some time on this one, because I know you played four sports in high school. You're playing basketball right now. Favorite game that you've ever played in? I would definitely say last year against Decatur Central in basketball because we won, and that's pretty big for us, so. That's awesome. Maddie Payne, thank you so much for joining us. That was the 60 Session Speed Round brought to you by Endeavor Communications. I'm Andrew Willett, joined by Madison Payne. That's ST Square. Mm-hmm.